Hi, this is Melanie Queen from Queens Wellness Accounting, and I'm going to go over the dashboard or the home of QuickBooks Online. So when you pull up your QuickBooks Online, you'll see this. So you have this um, exp invoices, and it will tell you which ones are unpaid, and which ones have been paid, and which ones have not been deposited into your bank, and which ones have been deposited. So that is helpful. So you have these overdue ones. You might want to go into your sales and you know, resubmit those. I can show you that in um, another video on how to do that. This is your expenses. So it's showing you where your expenses, where you paid your money. So this is, it says miscellaneous. We might want to, you know, figure out where those miscellaneouses are. If you're one of the clients, you shouldn't have a miscellaneous of that amount. That's crazy. But you can see that you paid 900 in rent. Um, you have job expenses of 603 and then everything else is 1435 um, again I like to categorize myself a little bit more than that so you know let's keep on top of that and if you're one of my clients we'll, we'll organize this a little bit better into more expense categories so you know where you're spending your money um, so you can actually change this to this month so you can see that this month we only paid an automobile you can do it to this year. You can change it to the quarter. That's pretty cool there. Okay, so this is your profit and loss. I will have another video on explaining the P&L, you know, the profit and loss statement, but this is kind of just a quick overview. So this is telling you your net income for June, so the last month. And um, this is telling you that there's eight to review, and then there's 14 expenses to review, and those would be up here. Um, that gives you an idea of your income and expenses for, you know, June. If you want to change it, you can change it to the last 30 days. You can change it to this month, see how you're doing this month so far. And then this is your sales. So it's showing that beginning of the month you did great, or not so great, and then you look like you peaked at the June 18th to the 24th, and then it looks like you kind of had nothing from June 25th to 20th, the 30th. Again, you can change this to um, quarterly, you can change this to last month, you can change this to the last 12 months. Looks like you had a spike, you know, the last little while. Um, if you want to connect to bank accounts, you can, or additional bank accounts, you can connect it here. I will have another video on that as well. Thank you and have a wonderful day.